So now that we have fired up our text editors and we are ready to make some interactive websites with JavaScript, first let's look at our setup. So the way I set up this tutorial is that I created the, again, the JavaScript folder in my desktop and the file that we're working in is actually index.html like for the HTML and CSS because as you know this is going to be our main web page and just to show you how it looks that you can see over here I have my desktop and I have a folder JavaScript and I have index.html you can call your file of a folder however you you want but you need to have this file to be called index.html because then the browser knows that this is our main uh, file or website but the folder can be called however you would like and it could be anywhere where would you like I'm just for the preference I'm just using the desktop so let's go back to the my text editor and the first thing we're going to discuss is where should we place and how we should get actually JavaScript uh, to our to our page so if you remember the CSS that we added within the head, we added first just the style tags and then later we added actual link to our external uh, CSS style sheet. Well, the same thing is actually with a JavaScript. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to have a look how the JavaScript works if we're just adding tags and we're putting our JavaScript code within those tags. So the tag name for the JavaScript uh, to add the JavaScript to our website is actually called script tags. So you write over here script and then you can see that it's a double tag and then whatever we write here uh, as our JavaScript code it's going to be appearing uh, in our website. Now to show you that I'm just not making this up I'm going to write one of JavaScript's uh, statements that we haven't uh, actually looked at yet so don't worry about it we're going to cover in the next lessons but let's say I'm going to write a document and then I'm going to write uh, document right and then within the uh, within the uh, brackets over here I'm just going to write uh, a text that I would want to appear on my website so pretty typical I'm going to write hello world and I'm going to save it right here usually you can either do it in your uh, within the file over here save but I'm just doing a quick save I'm doing the command s in a Mac so now that it's saved let's just move back to the desktop um, and just open up the file and let's see what we have so I'm gonna open index over here and I'm gonna just uh, zoom it out and now you can see that whatever I we wrote actually within our JavaScript and uh, with our script tags we can we, we have right now in our website so you can see I didn't add anything in actual body this is pure JavaScript Congratulations, we have made our first JavaScript statement. Now, here's a couple of things of, about scripts. The same as CSS, it's actually not suggested that we are adding uh, actuals within our script. We keep writing our JavaScript. I mean, you can do it for simple things like right now, but actually as, you, as your websites get more and more complicated, you want to keep your code uh, separately. And especially let me show you one, uh, one thing that what happens unfortunately if you keep adding the script anywhere you want. So let's say I'm going to cut this and I'm going to post it here in the body. And I'm just instead of document write I'm going to actually write one of, I'm going to create one of those annoying alert boxes that I was showing you in the first tutorial. So I'm going to same thing I'm just going to write here hello world. And I cannot type again. So I have an alert hello world. And but, but before that, I'm just gonna, I'm sorry, after that, I'm just gonna create a couple of headings. And like, let's say three. And I'm gonna write here hello world too. And this is, this is gonna show you what happens, unfortunately, if we're just adding our JavaScript anywhere we want. So I'm gonna write again. So let's save this and I'm going to refresh this. And now you can see that even before my page shows up here that I have an annoying alert box that and it doesn't make sense. My page even hasn't loaded and I already have the 
uh, alert box. And that's the last thing that you actually want because you want your page to load and only then your JavaScript would appear. So I click OK and then you have hello world again. And it really doesn't make sense. That's why every time you can, you're, you're avoiding to use the to use the script over here. You The JavaScript, you don't want to add it in front of your uh, HTML uh, elements, other HTML elements. So for the small small files like this, if you want to add actually JavaScript in between your script, so I would, I would write here cut, and then I would create a line, and I would paste it over here. So this is how do you want to add your JavaScript to your uh, HTML file. So you would want to add it all the way in the bottom of the body. So when all the website is actually loaded, so let's save this and we'll, we'll have a look. So I'm going to refresh this. And you can see that my web website actually loaded and only then I have my annoying alert box popping up. So that, that really makes more sense instead of the alert box coming in first. Now, like I said, if you have a large, large files where you, there's tons and tons of JavaScript or you want to add JavaScript to your multiple websites that you have, like you have tons of pages and you want to add the same JavaScript, the same as CSS, you actually, the best practice is actually to create an external file. So let me just, uh, I'm just going to cut this right now. And actually, you know what? I'm going to delete this just so it's just a little bit more clear. So what we would do is we would actually create a new file. Again, with my text editor, the brackets, it's easy that I can just create it in the same folder. With other text editors, you would need to create a new file, and then you would have to save it in the same folder. So what I would do is I would write first um, tutorial and then I would give a extension of JS and the same as CSS extensions they tell browser that this is gonna be a JavaScript file so let's let me save that and now I have first tutorial JS and once you create a file with a file extension of JS you don't have to place your script tags but you can place your JavaScript uh, your, your JavaScript uh, code and you can see over here that my my browser my text editor is, is showing me that some, something is not right. Why you have a script tags over here? So I'm gonna delete that, and now you can see that I have my alert hello world, and this is gonna appear on our website. So I'm gonna save this right now. But w once we go back to the index.html, and actually we again the same as with CSS we haven't linked our page the web browser doesn't know where to look for J JS so what we would do in this case so we would again paste it but I'm gonna delete this JavaScript comment um, sorry statement and now we have two script tags so what we would do I would place them a little bit lower but over here I would write source and I would actually link it to my JavaScript file that I just created. But again, what you want to do is you want to add that script tags with the source all the way in the bottom of the body. So whatever elements we're going to be placing here, let's say H1, and I would say again, hello world. Again, I would want my script to be underneath this hello world. So let's just save that. And let's have a look what we have. So I'm going to refresh this. And now it says, again, I have a hello world and I have the annoying pop up box, hello world. So let me double check one more time. And in this case, I'm just going to delete this hello world. And I'm going to save this. And instead of a large box, I'm just going to write document write. Document write. And I'm going to say hello Johnny okay and again don't worry about these statements right now I'm we will gonna cover them actually in uh, next few lessons but uh, basically what we're saying is listen I want this to appear in document so hello Johnny so let me save this 
and I'm going to go back and I'm going to refresh the page and you can see hello Johnny. But if we're looking in our index over here, right, there's nowhere in the body I haven't said hello Johnny. So whatever I'm getting on the displayed on actual website is from my JavaScript. So just to recap, we created a script. Within the script, we actually link it to our external JS file. We could have wrote our all our JavaScript in between, but then we wouldn't need to actually tell the browser where is the external file. But we don't want to do that because it doesn't make sense for the larger websites. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.